All right, I am going to start chronicling um, my DIY drone build. Um, so let's get started. I got most of the parts in. Uh, here's the frame over here that came in a couple days ago. Put that together. That was pretty simple. But now that I thought, now that I'm thinking about it, as I'm build starting to actually build the drone. I probably should have held off on that, so this may be coming apart um, real soon. So <laughs> let's go on with the rest of this stuff because I got a lot of shit here. So this here is my Pixhawk for um, flight controller. So basically, that is what is going to signal to the aircraft once I get the props and everything on. Uh, how to spin, where to spin, direction, um, basically takes um, the entire input for the entire flight profile. This N is actually part of the brains, actually the brains for flight, that's what this is. This is a vibration dampener for this and for my onboard computers which are just Raspberry Pis that I'm going to purpose. Uh, for this drone. This first Raspberry Pi is going to have this low light camera and on it I'm going to have Python which is how we're going to um, control the drone. So we're going to fly this drone totally by code for its first flight. That said though, um, well when I get to it, uh, talk about the fail safe. So, uh, on onboard computer that's going to have Python, which I can control the Pixhawk flight controller, as well as going to have OpenCV, which is um, AI um, that I'm going to add to this using this low light camera. And I also have a LiDAR coming in, which uh, will be in later on today. So excited about that. So first onboard computer. And if I can do it, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm prepped for it. Here's the second onboard computer, which is going to be like a weather station. So here I have a Sentat, which essentially I can get different types of weather information through this device. In addition to that, it also has LEDs, so you can actually get some vis visual indication of uh, the environment that the aircraft will be flying in. This over here is my uh, on-screen display. This is my on-screen display chip. Uh, this is how we are going to uh, visualize how we're talking to the onboard computer, which is going to program the flight controller. Uh, this is how we're going to see it. The first time we're going to do it, we're going to do it from the laptop. But in the field, we're going to have the ability to be able to program the drone in the field. This is my GPS module. Everybody knows what a GPS is. Uh, if you don't know, this is uh, positioning so we know where we are at any time, anywhere in the world. That's what that does. I2C splitter. What that is going to do is allow me to add different devices like the onboard computers um, to talk to the Pixhawk. Uh, what else? This is the radio control, which we're not going to, well, I'm going to do it anyways, just in case the code fails. We need to get some control back to the aircraft. So throw away what I first said. We are going to set up the radio telemetry um, so that if the code goes crazy, we can at least gain control of the drone should anything go wrong. Uh, PPM, what that is, is it takes a bunch of signals from the different controllers. Uh, so I'm going to have some speed controllers here that actually controls the rotations of the drones. All of those things get plugged into here, which also plug into here. So that's what's getting the input from the flight controls to the flight controller. And power. Uh, self-explanatory. I haven't even figured out how much power it's going to take. I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, and I have some notes here that I'm doing some quick math and just some quick stuff. Um, but 
um, this is totally DIY. I really have no plan. I'm just <laughs> looking at a bunch of references. Um, and hopefully they give me some clues on how to get this thing in the air. So I'm going to chronicle this whole thing. And this is where it's starting. So here we go.